Trader just released 8.0.27.0. This is their latest release and it is a big one. Unlike the other ones, this one actually contains eight new features and 81 new fixes that will probably be important to you in 2023. So let's get started on what's important right after this. So I've recorded this feature about six or seven times now and in that time Ninja Trader just told me it was scrapped in this release. Big disappointment. Wish I could tell you what it was. Probably not allowed. But that should mean the next one is going to be really big. Uh, I say that with a grain of salt because uh, if you watch my 8.0.26.0 I mentioned the same thing and they had scrapped it in that release too. This is probably a good time to do some self-promotion and tell you to subscribe because that feature will be discussed when it eventually does get released, hopefully in the next video that we do. Feature 14350. Now they added the ability to roll positions from your control panel grid window so you can actually right click on one and if a position can be rolled, you can say roll position here. Uh, similar if I went to this gold one, I can hit roll position. You'll see that my contract will change from uh, where it is right now at 822 um, and you can see it rolls into that position uh, with our new current contract so that is a feature that is in there now um, you used to have to go to your um, uh, tools and database management and roll the positions over here and then go ahead and place uh, orders and whatnot so that that can be rolled over now um, through your control center window Okay, feature 15222, basically if you make any changes underneath your default workspaces, underneath your workspace here, and you go ahead and close this one that's already open, it's gonna ask you if you wanna save it underneath a different name. That was not the case before, but now you can. Okay, fix number 15292. This is actually a fix that prevents an intruder from crashing when you start loading up your workspaces as well as connecting to a data feed at the same time. So that has now been resolved. Okay, fix 15355. This is more of a change where if you go into your chart trader uh, in your trading stocks, your default option used to be a hundred shares and now it has been changed to one. Okay, fix 15122. It's actually to do with email alerts. Uh, if you go into your tools and then options, you can configure your email alerts underneath your shared services. And these are your shared services that are already in Ninja Trader 8. Um, now, 15122 uh, actually has the SMP, SMTP client for sending emails updated, as well as the Gmail one. Uh, so if you go to email and you want to configure this, you double click, you can pick your service. That's the name there. Uh, Pre-configured would be Gmail. This was actually updated. Uh, so that you can connect to Gmail. This makes it a heck of a lot easier to have uh, emails being sent out through your Gmail account. Okay, fix number 15037. This is to do with multi-monitor setups. More specifically, if you use a docking station with a laptop or something like that, you weren't able to increase the window size if the workspace was already open before that additional monitor was added. So again, more to do if you were using a docking station, but if you ever were, then this is gonna be something that's extremely useful for you. Okay, so feature number 15258, this has to do with NinjaTrader upgrading their backend code, so there's really no, nothing to show you here. Um, this is more of their database technology and how it works. However, they've also taken the opportunity to move the application to a 64-bit program only. So this removes support for any 32-bit versions. Now, most CPUs in recent history can run a 64-bit application, so I don't think it's going to make a huge difference to anyone but it will be updating their system requirements to make sure that the CPU can in fact run a 64-bit application. Now, if you're using something super, super, super old, then your Ninja Trader is probably gonna stop working because they can't run a 64-bit application. So um, uh, with that being said, I, I think it's not gonna be an issue for most people, but it will be uh, a bit of a change. Now, the reason why they did this is because obviously 64-bit application will have some performance improvements. And I imagine there's a lot of people running the 32-bit that could have been running the 64 and this should reduce support requests for NinjaTrader. So it kind of just brings things up to speed anyways. If you guys have any other questions or you want to get these releases sent to you, uh, make sure that you hit that bell icon and subscribe and then you'll get these as they come out. 
this is an intro to 8.0.27.0. If you guys have any other questions, drop them in below. Don't uh, forget to subscribe to us for our other videos that we do. And feel free to browse through our past ones if you have any questions or anything at all.